Today we're speaking with Dr. Ching Hon Pui. He is chair of the Department of Oncology, co-leader of the Hematological Malignancies Program, Fahad Nasser Al-Rashid Chair of Leukemia Research, and an American Cancer Society professor at St. Jude's Research Hospital. Dr. Pui was awarded the 16th annual AACR Joseph H. Birchenel Memorial Award for outstanding achievement in clinical research. Thank you, and thank you for being here very much. Thank you, it's my pleasure. You have been at the forefront of leukemia research for the past three decades. Would you discuss the big picture of how treatment has improved and approaches have changed over that time? Yeah, in the past three decades, we are able to increase the cure rate of child acute leukemia from 50% to 90% and acute myeloid leukemia from 30% to 70%. It is mainly due to the fact that we are able to optimize the existing drugs which were developed between 1950s and 1970s. It is also because of a substantial improvement in the supportive care allowing us to use the drugs more intensively but safely. And we also know how to risk classify the patients so that we can optimize the treatment depend on the risk factors so we do not over or under treat them. And finally, with effective intrathecal and systemic chemotherapy, we are able to eliminate the use of prophylactic cranial radiation in all patients regardless of the risk features, sparing them from getting the radiation associated side effect, especially secondary malignancy, so that we can not only improve their cure rate but also improve the quality of life. Your work has helped boost the cure rate, as you said, to, uh, for childhood ALL to 90% and acute myeloid leukemia to 70%. Would you expound on your work with genome-wide analyses to classify leukemias and identify new targets for therapy? Yeah, we and others have found out that the genome-wide analysis is more accurate than conventional cellular genetics and immunological method to diagnose and classify leukemia. In the past, we were able to only genetically classify 75% of the patients. Now we can classify 100% of the patients into prognostically and therapeutically relevant uh, genetic subgroups so that we can target the treatment effectively. And also, genome-wide analysis have identified several genetic lesions that we can use for molecular target therapy. For example, uh, the finding of overexpression of free 3 in MLL rearranged leukemia and the JAK mutation in high-risk precursor B-cell ALL have allowed us to start testing free 3 inhibitor and JAK inhibitor respectively in these patients. You were instrumental in establishing the International Childhood ALL Working Group in 1995. Would you talk a little bit about the goals and also the accomplishments of this group? Yes, uh, in 1995, uh, we were able to cure about 80% of the patients. However, the remaining 20% of the patients represent many rare subgroup of patients. Several international colleagues and I realized that none of us have enough patients to perform minimal study on these patients. Therefore, we decided we should join force. Therefore, we developed an international child ALL working group to study those patients. We have since been joined by virtually all major study groups in the world. So we combine our efforts to combine multiple studies. So during this period of time, we were able to identify optimized therapy for several subtypes of patients. Recently, we realized that we should expand the scope of our research. We should invite the translational researcher together so we can study the biology of leukemia to unravel the pathogenesis of the disease. That's so exciting. Thank you so much, Dr. Pui. Thank you very much.